Etchachan saw it. My name is Sisuji. I'm married to my high school sweetheart, Katsura. Last year, I gave birth to her son. It's Grandma! Hey! Here are some toys! My in-laws are nice people, and our families get along well. My younger sister-in-law, Karin, and I are good friends, too. There's a new bakery by the train station. We should check it out sometime. Really? That sounds great! I wonder if there's anything that my son can eat. Oh, come on! Don't be foolish! Who knows what they put in those things? Those small bakeries don't list all the ingredients like they do at grocery stores, right? What if your son has allergies? A lot of that bread they sell has honey in it, too. You shouldn't be feeding that to a baby who's not even one years old yet. Uh, yeah, I guess. This is my older sister-in-law, Azumi. Her strong personality always makes me nervous. Azumi, we were just talking about how it would be cool to check it out. Still, no means no. Understand? I have a duty as an experienced mother to advise Asuji about raising children. This is for her own good. Uh, thank you, Azumi. This is how she always was. She always had to be right. A few years ago, when we went on a family trip together, this personality of hers really stood out. Almost there. Once we get off the bullet train, we'll switch over to the local train and get off at Etra Station. Let's eat lunch once we get there. Okay. If we're transferring, we should move up to the second car. Grab your stuff, Akane. What? But Mom, we're in car 13. Do we really have to walk all the way to car 2? Yeah, why don't we just wait till we get off? I mean, look at all this luggage. Are you serious? The stairs closest to the transfer are right in front of car 2. It's better if we wait near there. Dad! Give it up. You know she won't listen to us anyways. What if we miss the transfer? Are we just gonna stand there with all this luggage until the next train comes? There's so much we can do in that time. Don't you think it makes more sense just to move right now? Got it? Now everyone, grab all your stuff! We ended up carrying all our heavy suitcases and walking up the narrow aisles from one end of the train all the way to the opposite side. And even after we got to our destination... I'm hungry. You guys ready to eat? I heard that this place is famous for their seafood. Wow, so many choices! What do you want to eat, Akane? I want this seafood rice bowl! Alright, let's go there then. Oh! Let's go to that restaurant right there! Huh? I forgot about this 50% off coupon that I have. It expires today. That's a big chain restaurant, isn't it? There's one right by our house. Yeah, we're here on vacation. There's no need to eat somewhere like that. Wow, those family diners have way more options. And it's 50% off. We can eat more than usual. And there's always a chance that we walk into a bad restaurant. No need to take chances on our trip, right? There's a baby with us, too. So we should go somewhere where there's something for everyone. Right, Akane? Hmm. No! I want to eat the seafood rice bowl! <laughs> yeah, we can go to a family diner whenever we want. Yeah. Huh? Shut up! I'm saying that this is what's best for everyone! And this is how you treat me? Like I'm the one who's crazy? Why are you treating me like a bad guy? Fine, I won't say anything anymore. Just calm down, Azami. I'm sorry. When she gets like that, my sister can't be stopped. It's okay. Come on now, calm down! Jeez. See? That's what happens. That's why we usually just do as she wants. Oh, I see. It wasn't like what she said was completely wrong, but... This is a good gift. Huh? Well, I'm choosing something for my friends. I want it to be something cute. What's wrong with this? There's a lot in there, so you can split it easily with everyone. Uh... She never took into consideration what the other person wanted, or why the person was doing something. It was always about her own opinions. Why is he naked? Don't you know? Underwear serves the role of absorbing sweat and... Okay. Oh, how annoying. Even I started getting a little annoyed with my sister-in-law. But once my son started kindergarten, we started spending less time at my in-law's place. So naturally, we saw less and less of Azumi as well. A few years later, there was a family gathering at my in-law's place. Akane, how have you been? Look at you, you're all grown now. Yeah, I'm in ninth grade now. Could you carry those dishes to the table, please? Sure. You're so big now. It had been a while since we gathered like this, and everyone seemed happy to see each other. But Azumi hadn't changed at all. 
Dad, are you drinking? It's still noon. What if you have to drive later? It's a special occasion. The doctor told you to hold back too, right? At this rate, your liver. Fine, fine. I'll just have one, okay? Thank, Thank you, you for the food. food. Pass the soy sauce. How about a drink, Tachibana? Yes, please. This is so good. <laughs> Don't drink too much, Dad. There you go. Dressing. For your salad. I'm good. I prefer my vegetables without dressing. What do you mean? Who doesn't put dressing on their salad? It's common sense. I'm being thoughtful right now. I noticed that you were far away, so I'm passing it to you. Why don't you at least say thank you? I'm always giving you all such good advice. Don't you see that I'm just sharing the right information with you guys? Well, everyone has a right to their own opinions, too. I'm correcting their mistakes. No, start with the white meat, then eating sushi. And the roll should be eaten last. Don't serve your own sake. And don't leave the sake cup on the table when pouring. Shut up. I'm writing your wrongs. Be thankful. Mom, that's enough. This is why the parents of the club meetings and PTA meetings don't like you. They even avoid me now. What are you talking about? Everyone agrees with me and does as I say. That's proof that I'm right. I'm being considerate. It's all good advice. Nah, it's probably just because you're even more annoying when people don't do as you say. Did you just call me annoying? I'm doing this for everyone. See, you're doing it again. You say it's for everyone else, but you just need to be right. That's why you get mad when people don't do as you say, right? Do you ever think about what that person wants or what that person is thinking? Who cares about being right if you're ignoring that person's feelings? That's what it means to be considerate and thoughtful, don't you think? I mean, you've never asked us how we felt, have you? And everything has just gone your way here. When we go on vacations, what we eat, everything. That's because we were being considerate to you, Ozumi. We all took your feelings into consideration. What you're doing is believing that you're right and forcing that opinion on others. Of course, we would all like to enjoy our vacations and eat what we want. But dealing with that hysterical version of you, if we were to say no to you, it would just never be worth it. Do you understand? We have been adjusting ourselves for you. Huh? Are you trying to say that I'm a nuisance? You should have said something then if you had a problem. Well, holding that in? That's what it means to be considerate, Azumi. Dad, Mom, Katsura, me, Akane, Tachibana, Susuji, all of us. We were all being thoughtful of you. What about a thank you? Well, we knew you had good intentions, so... Well, we were just doing as normal people would. Yeah, we figured you were ready to fight for your opinions. <laughs> Since then, Azumi has become less thoughtful. Mom, you said you'd buy me new outfits, right? I want this one. Please, look how cute it is. It's all the rage right now. No, it's so flashy. You'll get bored of it in no time. But this one is way more simple. Oh, how thoughtful. Oh, I'm sure you aren't just forcing your opinion on her, right? I'm sure you're being thoughtful about how Akane feels. <laughs> Akane, whatever you want. Really? Yay! It might take a little time for her to undo her thoughtfulness. All right then, Auntie is going to buy you some clothes. I want toys, not clothes. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。正しいこと、その人のためになるであろうことを教えてるつもりでも、相手がそれを求めてないのであれば、押し付けるのは間違いです。まして、自分の意見がどうらなくて起こるなんてことじゃないんですから、も